everyone, it's Alfonso the Trader. I'm just letting you know, uh, I'm going to be putting this in a box. I'm uh, getting a little frustrated with it, and I've got some other creative ideas going on in my head. But um, I really am kind of, uh, I guess I'm at the drain block. So uh, this will be uh, off on the side, not forgotten, but I'm just going to work on some other things right now. I will fill you in uh, later on, and uh, I might get around to cleaning this desk. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. See you around. Hey everyone. Uh, I was always putting away that uh, last project I was working on. Sometimes uh, I just needed to tell you guys that sometimes you just need to walk away from a project. Uh, just, you know, you're getting frustrated with it. If you're working on it, you're going to work on it poorly. You're just trying to grind it out and get it done instead of doing the best quality work that you, you can do. And that's where I was coming up against. Uh, so that's why I'm not going to work on that. I decided I'm just going to paint some miniatures. And I am going to be painting up my Valhallen and Steel Legion. Uh, and my uh, Anamunda Cala uh, color scheme. But uh, another thing I also want to talk to you real quick was uh, paint. Um, I use a wide variety of paints. And the reason why I use a wide variety of paints is because I like the color that that that, that brand had. Now, a lot of you know I used to work for Privateer Press, so I have a wide range of P3 paints. Um, we got a, got those on the cheap when they first came in, um, like 33 cents a bottle. So, yes, you're all angry at me now. Um, I also use uh, Reaper. Um, there's some game color in there from Vallejo and Vallejo model color. Uh, I also have somewhere around here, but um, the um, Andrea, some Andrea paints. But I also want to let you guys know if um, you know you're hard up on cash, or you just want more bang for your buck, um, this Americana paint line, I don't just use it for terrain. Um, that's my favorite black, Americana lamp black. It's two ounces. Yeah, two ounces. That's 59 mil for all you people overseas. Um, but like I said, you know, this hobby paint is phenomenal. I took a three-year hiatus one time from painting P3, and this was sitting in my drawers. And so was some poly S, uh, some old uh, um, Ralph Partha paints, uh, testers, uh, acrylic. Um, and a lot of those dried up on me, just sitting around. Uh, these, these paints here... Uh, Literally, just a few shakes, came back to life. Um, the Americana line, same thing. Uh, the Americana line runs under $2. You get 2 ounces. You doing the math yet? Yeah. You, uh, I've painted a lot of miniatures uh, with this paint line. I've been complimented by some of the best in the industry. Some people may know Mike and Ellie McVeigh. I used to work with them. And on several occasions, they were like, oh, what's that red you used for the uh, K-Dork? Oh, it was this Napa Red. What? So, uh, yeah. So, uh, I have uh, been complimented on the colors that they have. Uh, it's a great paint. Uh, it's a good coverage. Um, a little bit thicker, so I add just a little bit of water to it. And a little goes a long way. Um, I use them for both miniatures and my... Uh, uh, models as well but I still have you know a lot of these paints and um, the number one reason why I will buy a color or a paint is because I like the consistency but most of all this is the most important thing I just like the color I don't got to blend it uh, I can just take it out of the bottle and use it um, a lot of you know um, I keep a paint journal and I keep uh, uh, all the um, ingredients being you know what paint company I use uh, so it keeps it it's really simple if I can just grab a bottle off the shelf come back to uh, painting Valhallans after not painting them for you know four or five months and we go oh that's the gray I used that's the black I used this is the the, the beige and the, the olive green I used it makes it a lot simpler than trying to blend everything all the time uh, I hope this has been helpful and I will see you around and hopefully we'll have some of those painted up and show them for you alright take care guys